talk about Delaware State and their ability to continuously find great running backs. I don't know how they do it, but man, they need recognition for it. Listen to me. First, it was Sivion Wilkinson. There were probably a few backs before Sivion Wilkinson. Okay, but it was Sivion. And then after Sivion left, somebody from Delaware State, man, he said, hey, as a matter of fact, it was the guy who runs the who runs their page. He said, "Hey, we got a few more backs. You know, we didn't we didn't, we're not just empty. Not a Simeon on his left." And I was like, "Okay, well, show me who you got." He showed me three backs who were great, great players, and yet he still didn't even tell me about this guy who I'm going to tell you about now, the rookie of the year for the MIAC Conference, Marquise Gillis. Now, dog, when I say this man is a beast. Like, I can see why he was rookie of the year. You see, he's not a true freshman. He's a redshirt freshman. He redshirted his freshman year, came in his sophomore year, redshirt freshman year this season, and man, did he perform. On 104 carries, he had 537 yards and five touchdowns, his longest run of the year being a 41-yarder. Oh, and he averaged over five yards a carry. He averaged over five yards a carry. Watching this dude play, I'm telling you right now, bold prediction, whatever you want to call it, next year, I think he'll make his claim for best running back in HBCU football, especially with more carries and him being ingratiated into the offense more now that they know what he can do. Uh, just because because I feel like this year was just a sample size. It was just a sample size. See, Marquise, man, when I say this man is patient, like, he's very patient. When he first gets the ball, right, he's going to take his time. He's going to see where the hole is. Wait, so wait for that play to develop. And when that hole gets there, he hits it just like that. He has the patience of Le'Veon Bell in his prime. But the athleticism, enough athleticism to outrun you at an angle, okay, and hurdle you, which you will see a lot of times in his highlight clips, still hurdle you. He can take the hit. He can juke you. Like, what can he do? At six foot, 200 pounds, what can he do? Also, a very important aspect, he can provide you protection, your quarterback, in pass protection. He can do that. He can block. He's big enough for that. Can he catch out of the backfield? Yes, he can. As a matter of fact, I think he had 11 catches, 84 yards, and he averaged almost eight yards a catch. Again, this season was just a sample size. And I'm glad that he did it in a, into the portal. I can't wait to see what Delaware State is going to do with him going forward. What type of role is he going to have next year? Are they going to make him the battering ram? Are they going to feed him the ball to get the offense going? It, it, will the offense run through Marquise Gillis? But some of my early my early predictions for him, MIAC Offensive Player of the Year, um, a rushing title, the MIAC rushing title. I think he's going to make his claim for the best running back in the MIAC. We'll see how it happens. But after witnessing this guy, he is now on my list. Like, he, he he's on my list. So I'm going to continue to hype this man up for the upcoming season and every other season after that. Um, and maybe, maybe, if he had more of an inclusion in the offense, maybe he even gets Delaware State above five and six. Who knows? But he's going to be very hard to stop going forward. This man just refuses to go down at the first sign of contact. His legs stay moving, and you really have to get him to the ground. Otherwise, he, he, he will just keep going. His hunger is just that strong. He will just keep going. But, yeah, that's all I had to say about him. Marquise Gillis, remember that name because he's coming, man. Remember him. Remember that name. I warned y'all about this man. With that being said, you are watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr, and I'm out. Peace.